Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today in this video, I'll be solving questions from exercises related to theorems. So I'll be solving unit number 9, exercise 9.1. Let's start with the first question. Prove that the diameters of a circle bisect each other. So first of all, we are supposed to draw a circle. Let's draw the circle. And we also need the center of the circle. And also we need the diameters. So what is actually the diameters of a circle? A line which touches one end of a circle and moves to the center. From the center of the circle touches the other side. This is called the diameter. Since there are two diameters, so we'll be drawing the two diameters. So uh, let's draw this diameter again. Okay, right. Okay, this is going to be the diameter. Right, so this is going to be the center O. Let's label these two diameters. One is AB and the other is CD. Right, let's start writing with the solution. The very first thing, since we are going to prove it, so very first thing we are going to write what is given to us. We are given one circle, a circle with center O. Right. And then there are two diameters. So we are going to write down the labeling of the two diameters. A, B and C, D are its diameters. Okay. Now the next thing that you have to prove is that these two diameters bisect each other. By bisection means that these two diameters cut e each other into two equal portions. This means what we have to prove? O, A is equal to O, B. And OC is equal to OD, right? That you have to prove. So we'll just write it down that AB and CD bisect each other, right? Let's start with the proof. We'll be writing down statements with reasons and reasons. Let me draw the line. Okay, so that it will be easy for you people. Okay, now from the figure, from figure, AB is the diameter which passes through the center. This AB is the diameter which passes through the center. Se pass kar hai. So, we can write as that AB is a diameter which passes through center O. So we can easily write it like that. This implies that OA is equal to OB. Right? This is one. Why? Because this is also the radii of the circle. Right? Radii of a same circle. Okay. Similarly, we can write it like that. Similarly, we can write that OC is equal to OD. Why? Because CD is the diameter and passes to the center. And also that ADI is of same circle. Right? So, also we can write it like that. Sorry. This implies that OA is equal to OC. Why? Because these are radii of the same circle. Radii of same circle. Right? So if we are going to mark it as 1, 2 and 3. So this implies that OA is equal to OB from 1. So the OB, it will be OB. So OB from 1 okay. then you are supposed to write it as OA is equal to OC and OC is equal to OD so it is also is equal to OC it is also is equal to OD right so this is from 1 2 and 3 right so hence we can say that the two diameters bisect each other so we just will write it down that hence Diameters 
of a circle bisect each other right so this is how you have proved the theorem or you can say we have solved the question okay let's start with question number 2 two chords of a circle do not pass through the center now what we have to prove they cannot bisect each other so the very first thing we need a circle we have already drawn a circle now we need two chords what are chords chord kya hai aapke paas that is a line segment that touches the two points of a circumference right so i have drawn two line segment and since they have asked us they have told us that these two line segments do not pass through the center right so humne ye do aapke paas chords jo draw ki hain ye center se pass nahi kar rahi agar yahi chord center se pass karti hain then that chord uh, is called now the diameter theek hai so now these chords do not pass through the center ab humne kya prove karna hai ki ye dono bisect nahi kar rahi hain right so what we have to prove that these two chords do not cut each other into two equal portions this means if we say that let's say let's label these two chords since this is o the center of the circle this is chord a b and this is chord c d and let e be the point the intersection point of the two chords so humne kya prove karna hai yahan pe ki e jo point hai ye inka center point nahi hai right agar ye center point hota to ye chords ek dusre ko equal portions mein divide karti now we have to prove since the two chords do not pass through the center so they will not bisect each other let's start writing down the solution so what is given to us given is two chords a and ab and cd are in circle with center o right and intersect these two chords intersect at point e so the word is intersect here theek hai ye maine intersect ka use kiya word intersect just means ke dono chords ne ek dusre ko cut kiya e point pe right and we have to prove that e point is not the bisection point bisect mein matlab aur intersect mein fark hai bisect means dono ko equal portion mein divide karta hai jabki intersect means just wo ek dusre ko us e point pe cut kar raha hai right so let's write down what we have to prove kya prove karna hai they cannot bisect each other so is e point ke bare mein batana hai ki e is not the mid point ke okay, e is not the mid point of a b and c d agar hota to yahan pe cannot na likha hota theek hai so this we have to prove now let's try okay construction mein humne kya construct karna hai draw o p o p draw karte hain kiske perpendicular to a b right and draw Uh, let's say o q perpendicular to c d so let's draw these two lines so ye humne drop kar diya ek perpendicular aur ye humne drop kar diya dusra perpendicular theek hai so perpendicular kya hai aapke paas 90 degree ka angle bana raha hai ye aur ye so it will be o p and o q right okay so we have done the construction now we'll be writing down the proof so we'll be writing down statements and reasons okay so let's keep it like that okay okay now p is the midpoint of ab ab ye kaise pata chala p is the midpoint of ab we have already studied this theorem that perpendicular drop from the center of the circle on the chord bisect the chord right as you can say op jo hai ab ke upar perpendicular drop kar raha hai center se uske perpendicular drop kar raha hai so we can say we can easily write down the full statement perpendicular from the center of a circle on a chord 
बाइसेक्ट इट ठीक है सो जो परपेंडिकुलर हम सेंटर से सर्कल के ऊपर ड्रॉ कर रहे हैं उस कॉर्ड उस परपेंडिकुलर ने इस कॉर्ड को दो इक्वल पोर्शन में डिवाइड किया दिस मीन्स पी जो है वो इसका सेंटर पॉइंट है सिमिलरली वी कैन से दैट दूसरी कॉर्ड का सेंटर पॉइंट क्या बनेगा Q इज द मिड पॉइंट और यू कैन से देंटर पॉइंट Q इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ CD, डी राइट द सेम रीजन एज यू कैन से एज क्यू सी एज सॉरी ओ क्यू इज रिपेंडिकुलर टू सी डी एंड रिपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल ऑन द कॉर्ड बाई सेक्टेड सो क्यू इज द मिड पॉइंट ठीक है अब इसका मिड पॉइंट हो गया ए बी का मिड पॉइंट पी हो गया सी डी का मिड पॉइंट क्यू हो गया सो so, आपके पास ई e कहाँ गया ई लाइज ई पॉइंट लाइज बिटवीन इफ यू सी ई पॉइंट जो है वो आपके पास बी पी के दरमियान लाइ कर रहा है सो ई पॉइंट लाइज बिटवीन बी पी एंड दूसरा सी यू कैन से डी क्यू के दरमियान लाइ कर रहा है राइट right? यहाँ से बी पी के दरमियान लाए कर रहा है और यहाँ से अगर आप देखें तो डी क्यू के दरमियान लाए कर रहा है सो so, ई e जो पॉइंट है ना ही वो पी पॉइंट को कंसाइड कर रहा है ना ही वो क्यू पॉइंट को कंसाइड कर रहा है राइट सो यू कैन से इट डज नॉट को यानी कि वो उसको टच नहीं कर रहा कंसाइड्स विद पी एंड क्यू सो अगर वो उसको कंसाइड नहीं कर रहा तो इसका मतलब है वो उसका मिड पॉइंट भी नहीं है क्योंकि पी और क्यू तो मिड पॉइंट थे सो ई यू कैन से इट ई इज नॉट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ यू कैन से ए बी एंड सी डी जो हमने प्रूव करना था कि उसका वो मिड पॉइंट नहीं है क्यों क्योंकि मिड पॉइंट तो पी एंड क्यू है राइट सो यू कैन से द कॉर्ड्स ए बी एंड सी डी विच डू नॉट पास थ्रू द सेंटर डज नॉट बाइसेक्ट ईच अदर ठीक है हाँ अब अगर कॉर्ड जो हैं सेंटर में से पास करती हैं तो वो क्या बन जाती हैं डायामीटर बन जाती हैं और वो एक दूसरे को बाइसेक्ट करती हैं दैट वी हैव डन ऑलरेडी इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वो भी अंडरस्टैंड द सम ओके लेट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड ए बी इज इक्वल टू एट सेंटीमीटर इट्स डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम द सेंटर इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर then find the diameter of such circle so i have already drawn a circle now let's insert these uh, va uh, values that is given in the question in the length of the chord ab so first of all i am going to draw a chord and i'm going to label it as ab and the measurement is given to us as 8 cm next thing is given to us as its distance from the center is 3 cm so if this is the center right so the distance here is 3 cm let us label the center as o so label a distance kya ho gaya aapke paas yahan pe let it be the m so o m is going to be the 3 cm find the diameter of such circle so we are supposed to find the diameter okay let's if we suppose to let's join o and a right so from figure we can easily find out o a first right so you can say from figure om is equal to 3 cm and what will be am right ye agar hame pata hai to hum find out kar sakte hain oa ko so am hamare paas kya hoga ye humne theorem padha hai ki distance jo perpendicular distance hota hai from the center of the circle on the chord bisects the chord सो so, अगर पूरी कॉर्ड एट सेंटीमीटर की है तो उसका हाफ कितना हो जाएगा हमारे पास फोर सेंटीमीटर का सो ए एम इज इक्वल टू बी फोर सेंटीमीटर राइट सो इफ वी कैन अप्लाई इफ यू सी सी ओ ए एम हमारे पास क्या है इट इज़ अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो यू कैन से इन ओ एम ओ एम ए वी कैन अप्लाई द राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल विच से दैट हाई पॉट न्यू स्क्र इज इक्वल टू बेस स्क्वेयर प्लस परपेंडिकुलर स्क्वेयर राइट सो हाई पॉट न्यूज हेयर इज ओ ए स्क्वेयर दैट विल बी इक्वल टू बेस विच इज ए एम स्क्वेयर प्लस परपेंडिकुलर विच इज ओ एम स्क्वेयर लेट इंसर्ट द वैल्यूज ओ ए वी हैव टू फाइंड ए एम विल बी फोर स्क्वेयर ओ एम विल बी थ्री स्क्वेयर इट विल बी सिक्सटीन प्लस नाइन 
will be equal to 25. So it will take the square root on both sides. So OA will be equal to 5 cm. So ye hamare paas aagya 5 cm. Right? Ab this is OA is also the radius of a circle. So diameter hamare paas kya hota hai? 2 times of the radius. So agar hum likhte hai, diameter will be equal to diameter will be equal to 2 times that of the radius. Here the radius is OA. So 2 times of 5 will be equal to 10 centimeter right and you can easily uh, also mention the diameter over here right ye diameter bhi aap mention kar sakte hain aur diameter ki aap let's say hum isko c keh lete hain so yahan pe ac hum keh sakte hain ac is considered to be as a diameter right so 5 plus 5 becomes 10 or you can say 5 2 times is 10 hope you understand the sum now let's solve question number 4 calculate the length of a chord so what we are supposed to find chord length of the chord so let's draw the chord first okay let it be the chord let's label us as a b so what we are supposed to find we have to find a b right okay now let's see what other thing is given to us which stands at a distance 5 centimeter from the center so chord ka center se distance kitna hai? if the center is o so center say chord ka distance usne kitna bata hai aapko? It is 5 cm. So it is 5 cm. Let this be OM. Right? So OM humare paas kya aagya? It is given to us as 5 cm. Ke center se leke chord tak ka de distance hai that is 5 cm. Of a circle whose radius is 9 cm. Now let's draw the radius center se leke. So, circumference ke ek point ko join karti hai line that is called the radius aur usne uski aapko measurement kitni di hai 9 cm ki right so this is the thing that is given to us and let it be OA is equal to 9 cm now let's apply OMA in triangle OMA humare paas koon sa triangle hai it is a right angle triangle so we can apply the Pythagoras theorem so Pythagoras theorem says hypotenuse square hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square hypotenuse here is OA base here is AM and perpendicular here is OM so OA 9 square is equal to AM we have to find and OM is 5 square 9 square is 81 am as it is since we have to find its value 5 square is 25 so we'll take 25 to the other side it will become 81 minus 25 and am square 81 minus 25 is 56 and we are supposed to find just the value of am so am is going to we are going to take the square root on both sides so it comes out to be as 7.48 centimeter right so the value of am is 7.48 now what will be the value of mb right so let's solve it what will be the value of mb if you say uh, a b right that is equal to am plus mb right this is one way of doing it and since it by om bisects the chord so mb is equal to am so we can write it as 7.48 plus sorry 7.48 plus 7.48 that is equal to 14.96 right or you can also multiply two times of 7.48 it comes out to be the same number right so, I hope you understand the sum. Thank you so very much. Allah Hafiz.